Hey guys, I'm back here with another unboxing. Obviously I'm seeing get up I'm just doing another video here. Um, so now I'm going to be doing my Man on the Moon. I'll leave off from wearing a similar sweater to the last sweater I had worn. Well, in the last videos I had put up, um, before these, I had like, kind of like a similar sweater on, but it was more of a kind of like turtleneck. I'll leave off though I'm wearing a similar one. So it's just kind of funny. We talked about my Man on the Moon stuff here that I had gotten. I received a bunch of packages today, but... Um, I'm just kind of separating everything just because <laughs> some of it was Christmas presents for people that I can't show in the video, obviously, because they might be watching. Um, other stuff I was just going to include in other videos. Some of the stuff, um, I'm going to be separating into two videos here because she threw everything in, like, a whole box because she was running behind on orders and everything. And so I had honestly wanted to talk about things just, like in separate videos here with both of these lines because I'm going to be discussing the apothecary fall line which I know it's late, I got my hands on it finally <laughs> and then um discussing some of the Christmas line I had gone so I'm excited for both and with that said like I said it's a big box so I'm going to just kind of try to separate it here as I'm going through it and I know it's been a while since I've been able to honestly do another unhaul for you guys with these, um, with Man on the Moon mistakes. It's been a while since I've gotten anything from Man on the Moon. And I was even saying, like, you know, it's crazy, like, I actually miss using, um, Man on the Moon bath bombs. But I do have some bath bombs, it's just, I can't use them because obviously they're, like, holiday themed. But... I was trying to get around to using or to try out some other brands and it's just kind of like how things worked out. But I finally am able to try out some new Man on the Moon goodies here and I am so stoked. I'm trying to get this box out of the same. Like, go away box. Nobody wants you. I mean, I do want you because you have everything in it. Well, on top here, she has new little um, thank you forms down. Which is different. It's been a while since I purchased from her. I would say maybe it's been a good month that I've purchased from her. Which, it's been a while for me because I normally, you guys know I normally buy a decent bit from her. But it says, wow, another order. <laughs> you must like us as much as we like you. Use code thank you at checkout for 10% off your next order. Um, we love seeing you. Enjoy your bath goodies. Be sure, be sure to tag us on social media. And recently, I think it's awesome. Their products have been getting more out there. And I think the charity line definitely helped out, and I will be discussing this, just the whole charity thing. And the charity item that I actually bought and supported. So I will go more into detail with that. Um, probably in the next video here, because honestly, I really want to talk about their fall line first. So we're going to talk about the fall line first. So if you want to hear more detail about the charity line, um, just go to my next Man on the Moon video once... If it's listed, but, you know, hang in there, guys. It'll be up soon. So, but anyways, I do like these new cards that you guys already have out now. And it's thank you, sir, on the back. I think the cards are really cute. Um, yeah, because in the past, they had, like, a kind of, like, a small little, um, business card that they had, um, included with their orders. I'm guessing maybe it's with bigger orders that do that, because I've never ordered this much stuff at a time. Um... But the only reason I got put all together like this in a huge box is because um, I had two separate orders and um, she was just running behind and just included everything in one just to kind of get it to me. So I'm definitely going to munch on that. Um, I'm to go that. <laughs> it smells really good in here too, by the way. I'm struggling here. It's over. They got like a plaid tissue paper for Christmas. It's really cute. And then they have a little, you can't see it, but they have a little middle and moon sticker. You put on all their products. And it's just kind of like in the center there holding it together. It's really cute. I've got a bunch of samples here. I'm so excited. It's really difficult because I'm going to have to like separate everything here. So, give me a bit. With everything that I had ordered from this fall line, it was either stuff that I was restocking on, honestly. Yeah, like I said, I'm just showing off everything I got from this haul order is literally just items like I told you guys that I really enjoy that I've been really wanting to restock on and um stuff from the pop carry line so it's basically everything that's in here but it's difficult because there's so much stuff crammed in here so this should be everything right here everything else like I said it's a huge order um 
feel like I'm missing something. No, I just took everything from my order though. Okay. I am just going to discuss, I think you guys know how much I love their Silence collection. It is one of my all-time favorite collections. And honestly, if you haven't tried it yet, like, what are you doing with your life, man? It is seriously, like, one of my favorite scents. It's, um, like, almond milk and honey, and it, it smells amazing. It's very subtle, but it goes a long way. And I can't get this lid off. There we go. It smells really, really, really good. I had to restock on this. I got the largest size possible on these this time because seriously, I love this collection. If you ever get rid of this collection, I'm honestly, I'm going to die. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Like, I, I love this scent so much. I'm probably going to have to find another vendor that honestly makes a scent. If you guys ever stop making this, I'm going to be so heartbroken. so desperate right now, but like, I really do love this scent. Um... I remember for a while, like, I religiously used stuff, like, day, day after day after day after day, and I'd pair these together. Um, so I had gotten their body butter and their sugar scrub. And I'd pair these together every day, and it, it seriously smells amazing even coming out of the shower, just with these scents kind of packed on together. It smells amazing. Um, like I said, if you haven't tried the silent scent, you need to, if you're gonna try stuff from Man on the Moon. It's one of my all-time favorites. Um, so, I'll show you closer here. So, it has the kind of, like, little logo from, um, Silence of the Lambs. And honestly, I, I love that film. It's one of my all-time favorites. Um, but yeah. It's one of my, it's just, it's so perfect because one of my favorite movies and it's one of my favorite scents from the shop. And, with that said, now we're going to be going on to... Her popcorn line has come out. I was so hyped. She did a live stream, and seriously, like, I applaud you. It was her first live stream, and she honestly did so well with this. Like, I, I even told her, like, I have yet to do a live stream, and I'm, like, honestly, like, shaking my boots over here. I know I can do it, but when I'm even recording these, sometimes I get kind of, like, oof, imagine if I was doing this live, you know, like, one of those moments. And I've come a long way even with talking on camera, and I can't even imagine, like, doing live streams and just, like, I can't even imagine. So, <laughs> it, it's just crazy. But her first thing that I got here from the Pop Carry line, um, so, yeah, with her live stream, I was there when she was just discussing all these products. And I'm really hoping, I'm pretty sure she's coming back to doing more of these talk just the pop carry line and everything. I'm not sure if it's gonna be like a summer or spring thing. But um I'm really excited to try these out. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Um so this I have two scrubs here that are actually pumpkin scented and then I have a lotion here which is supposed to be very moisturizing which I definitely need right now with this time of the year so perfect timing. Um but the first scrub here is called Cafe Pumpkin and she actually, it's a body scrub with pumpkin powder, sunflower oil, and rich ground Costa Rican coffee beans. She actually got these, some of these ingredients while she's over in Costa Rica, um, like over on vacation. I believe she got proposed to there and everything, so this was, this is like a big deal vacation and everything. She went out there, and um, yeah, this whole line too is all natural. If anybody's got their hands on this, like, I, you honestly were lucky because... She, this is the first time she's made all natural stuff, and it, it looks awesome, honestly, so I decided to try this out. Um, so she has, like, no artificial fragrance oils, she has no artificial colorants, only, she has only the best skin cures, ingredients for your skin. So, she really went all out with this, and, so if you're skin sensitive, I would recommend trying out this brand when she has more apothecary line in stock. I'm not sure the next time she hasn't released a date or anything. Um, like I said, recently I've just seen that everything's sold out. I don't know if it, if she just marked it as sold out for because of the holiday release and stuff, or if it's actually sold out. I'm not sure. But if whenever she does do the apothecary line again, which I'm hoping she does, um, yeah, definitely try to get your hands on some of this. But um, description on the back for anybody that's interested. It smells like fully and softened skin with this moisturizing body scrub. Pumpkin powder is packed with antioxidants and rich in vitamins. Um, it's kind of cut off at the end there. It says 
C and E, which soothes skin and helps in collagen production that makes skin strong and healthy. I feel like I'm, like I said, I'm so out of breath because I'm just dehydrated. That smells awesome. It smells like straight up like, um, like you walked into a coffee shop, like grown coffee beans. It smells really good. It's definitely natural. Um, very scrubby. You can kind of see the grit. I am so excited to try this out. Um, how to give it a nurse sniff. It literally smells like you're in a coffee shop with fresh ground coffee beans. I'm excited to try that out. The next item I got here was another scrub. It is their pumpkin patchouli. And I believe she said this one was more of an earthy scent. Like this one's kind of like the sweeter scent. But it's all natural products. And this one's more like the earthy kind of scent. And um, this one has pumpkin powder as well and infused patchouli oil. Once again, there's no uh, artificial fragrance oils, no um, artificial colorants. Um, and it's just very good ingredients. So if you guys are interested, definitely try out some of this line. I'm not a, I am not an affiliate, by the way. I just really love her products, and I've been dying to honestly do a review on, um, just some of this apothecary line that she has. So, so it's the same description with this one too, except it says the infused patchouli oil boosts circulation, which promotes a healthy and vibrant complexion while reducing the appearance of blemishes, bruises, and scars. Ooh. This is kind of hard to smell, but I'm also kind of, I think, I'm really hoping I'm not getting sick, but I definitely feel like my sinuses are kind of getting messed up. Even my voice kind of sounds kind of weird. I feel like, like I said, I'm out of breath. I think I might be catching something, but I'm really hoping I'm not. Let's cross our fingers, guys. Um... This one definitely, it kind of does have like an earthy smell to it, but it's like very subtle. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited to try this out. It's very kind of gritty again. But yeah, I'm excited to try these out. I really am. And I like the little containers too. It's like little glass containers. And then the last item from this pottery line is um, their body butter that I was telling you guys about. So this is the powerhouse. This is going to be like the all time, she said, uh, moisturizing lotion. It even says extra strength healing skin butter with chamomile, peppermint, rose of sharon, patchouli, argan oil, sunflower oil, beetroot powder, pumpkin powder, and shea butter. I have never honestly seen a lotion with beet beetroot powder before, so this should be interesting. Um, Sorry to try this out. It says helps regenerate skin cells, aids in preventing wrinkles, repairs scars, blemishes, cellulite, and striped marks. Apply a small amount to your troubled area of massage on the skin for external use only. I'm definitely excited to try this out. Like I said, my skin has been so dry. It always gets so dry this time of the year, so I'm excited to definitely try this out. What's it there? It's not like your normal body butters. Like, um, see, it not like the super creamy it's more of kind of like um i don't know how to describe it to you guys like it see there's it's like oily but it's not like the super creamy kind of stuff she normally makes but see it's still moisturizing i'm trying a little bit out here and putting it on it's still moisturizing it's doing a great job kind of hard to show you like i already see the oils going on my skin here Definitely have to let you know, you guys know how this works out. I have oils all over my hands right now. Um, but yeah, I like this scent. It's very subtle. I needed like a good lotion for winter time here. But that was my haul from just restocking and trying some of the pop care line out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm really hoping that she makes more apothecary stuff because I would love to try out more. And I will definitely keep you guys posted with how all this stuff works out. So I'm very curious with the body scrubs, with the natural body scrubs. I'm not sure how those would be. Um, and then the body butter is definitely different. Like I said, it's a super creamy whipped, um, creamy feel. Kind of like, you can see even here, 
it's not like that. It's literally just kind of like a butter, but it's very moisturizing. So I'm very intrigued to try these out. Um, and with that said, I'm going to be um, going on to my next video here with just some of the Christmas stuff, which is going to be a much bigger order. And then I will go into discussion with the charity items. Um, I had discussed in a post on my blog just about it all, but I'm going to be talking a little bit more about it. Um, so, I will see you guys here in the next video, and hope you guys have a great day. See ya!